if you've missed that, you can look for Kinder Music or the Duolingo P School. I said pre P school. I'm gonna say that again. The dual lingual preschool. Dude, I know I said P school, so like we gotta definitely <laughs> add that one out. <laughs> Woo! Have there been any accidental successes? Uh, All of this is an accidental success. This entire operation. Has been an accidental what did success. I say? We <laughs> fell into this with our ass in our hands. That's pretty much our, how it goes. Um, are, we, are we talking the the chunky blueberry booch? Are we talking the Oh, the volcano booch? The mid volcano booch. Oh so my we, god, dude. The 7 Eleven coffee brew? Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you degenerates. So we've had failures, you know. But, you know, every failure is a success eventually, right? As long as you That's learn. That's what they say on Instagram. As long as you learn, yeah. Facebook, yeah. Something like that. It's real. It's what I heard. My name's Brandon Hill with the Sugar House Chamber and Community Alliance and Mountain Standard Marketing. Today, we're at Crew Kombucha, up near 20th East in Sugar House. Now, even if you don't like kombucha, you gotta come take a visit here because these guys are a riot. My name's Christian Albert. Um, I'm Zach, we're the owners of Crew Kombucha. At the time, God, I think seven years ago, I was working for Vive Juicery, which is a local, or no, sorry, local uh, juicery. And I was doing their farmer's markets, became a little bit close with the one lady that was running Utah's only kombucha company at the time. Um, that kind of fell out of her ownership. And I saw how, you know what I mean, that business was going at the markets and all that. And you know what I mean, as soon as she stepped out, we kind of felt comfortable taking this from a hobby to a legitimate business that we kind of fell into. We had been making it at our house for a while, and we thought like, wow, this is pretty good. We should probably share this with some people, you know? Like gave it some samples around and people just loved it. So we decided to just, you know, market it as crew kombucha. Uh, so we started off with a farmer's market, did not have a label on our bottle. I when we, no. Just like Literally showed up with a tent, a really janky refrigerator with kombucha and like picnic tap lines. Yeah, so it's pretty much like <laughs> a story you kind of start from nothing. I mean, no label, no design, no true like, business, you know, background, kind of just going in with a good product. And, you know, we've learned a lot of things over the years, and but that's usually how it starts, it's just a good product, you if know? I, if I remember correctly, we gave the samples to the farmer's market in like Ikea pop-top bottles. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and somehow they thought our product was good enough. But now it's actually a legitimate business. We have a storefront, it's open two days a week. We're considering opening up a third or fourth day, possibly, depending on how business increases. And yeah, it's kind of all falling together for us. So you're pretty much just gonna come in, buy a new growler, um, or take a growler to refill, and then you could sample any of our six flavors that are rotating on tap. Usually we got a lot of seasonal favorites, and there'll be some stuff that you won't see in stores. Um, just that we sell here, I mean, it's a good way to, you know, test our products. Obviously we only put out stuff that we think is good, but you know, it's a good way to like, get people's vibe on certain flavors, certain things. Since December, we've just seen our business grow and grow and have a huge increase in sales. Absolutely. So we're a little bit tucked away. We are on a street called Preston, which is right next to Stratford Park. So that's the landmark most nearby, but we're on the corner essentially of 2700 South and 2000 East, right in the same area as Cactus and Tropicals, Feldman's Deli, um, the Maverick. If you miss our sign out front, it's a little hard to see. It's black and white, it says Crew Kombucha on it. We do share a building with Kinder Music and the Duolingual Preschool. Go to our website for dates and hours of our storefront. Currently, we're doing two days a week. We may very well add three or four days in and shorten the hours on that. Okay. Okay. Guys, right? Sure, I'm Zach. I'm Christian. Are we doing it at the same time? Or actually, what's our cue on that one? I was gonna ask you, are we gonna like do corny as and we're gonna try to chime this in the same? And we're Sugar House Business. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You go, and you start all this. Okay, yeah. I'm Zach. I'm Christian, and we're the owners of Crew Kombucha, and we're a sugar house business. Be sure to follow these folks on social media, and a huge shout out to all the volunteers who make the Sugar House Strong video program possible.